Uh, this mural actually is the mural that set me off into a new, new kind of a, a new philosophy of why, why I'm here to paint, basically. And like, what I feel now is I'm here to kind of explain things in a way, or just paint positive stuff. You know, give good energy. If you're gonna give your energy to paint, it should explain something, it should mean something. Working for all these casinos, uh, painting, uh, you know, this paint stuff that wasn't me. Because I, I was really proud of this room because of the message that it had in it. And I never painted anything with such a message in it before. But as far as message, um, positive message, uh, this, this, this spoke to me in a way that now I feel like I have to do that for a while. In Samoan tradition, the Ava ceremony opens every major village function and family cultural event. As it welcomes and honors all those in attendance, it blesses the event as well. Respect to the elders and those with status and hospitality, hospitality to all guests and visitors are key elements in our Samoan culture, as well as in all Pacific Islander cultures. The Ava ceremony, the most important Samoan tradition and custom, must be handled with both precision and decorum. A false move, an inaccurate presentation, or an inappropriate expression is not looked upon favorably and is seen as disrespectful, especially to the chiefs, the clergy, and special dignitaries present at the, at the event. There is incredible pressure on those who prepare the Ava because it demonstrates the knowledge and authenticity that the hosting village or family has of the Samoan way of life called Fa Samoa which is um, the old style architecture of the homeland on the left side. And then I tried to bring the, where we're at at this point. This is the cities and buildings. And as you I can see right here, I, I, I put these stop, I put these lights in here to represent, um, it's like uh, the fast paced life. And I made this red light really bright just to, kind of as a slow down, stop thing. I can enjoy life a little more, you know, don't, don't live the fast paced life. The tree represents just infinite, um, infinity. Because the tree is like, to me, is infinite. It's, it's, it's like shaped in the eight form. The roots go down to the ground and it's almost like the branches are roots going to the sky. So that's what that represents and it's in the middle. And we, we're all on the family tree too, so we all come from each other. So that's why that's in the middle. to meet um, somebody I painted and uh, I studied a lot of pictures of her and stuff and it was cool to see her in person. Real cool. Real cool somebody with the accomplishments that she did um, looked at something that I did, you know? I thought that was pretty cool. She did a great speech. It's like the angriness of, that she had in it, you know, she was really like, she, she was really a strong presence is what I, what I felt, you know. 
So I really admired the way she she's presented herself. The song is called Rosas ng Digma. Sumibo sa isang panahong marahas Bawat pagsubok ay yung hinarap At hanggat layay di pa nakakamdahan Buhay mo'y laging laan Namumukat ka at patuno ng sigla Tulad mo'y rosas sa harding ng digma Tina, I like to thank Tina. Tina Wong. She she uh she uh, hooked it up basically, and she she's really she's really the one who uh, got it got it all together, huh? Without without well actually without anybody anybody missing in that whole circle we had. Okay, let's do a countdown. Ready? Ready? Go. All right. Ready? All right, 100, 99, okay, yeah, yeah. how about 50, 50, all right, I guess 10 is kind of standard, okay, okay, ready, okay, so ready, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Mural is very important to my culture, especially as a filmmaker and someone that might be working with media. Um, for me, it uh, represents a lot about our culture and it, it can show to other people um, a little bit more about who we are and um, that we're, we feel included.